Okay guys, let's talk about some Ruger LCPs. Um, we've got two LCP and then we got the LCP2, the upgraded model. Um, as you can see the styling's a little better. Um, got the stainless model here. Biggest difference between these two guns, trigger, last round hold open. As you all know, Double action trigger, got a long trigger pull. Okay, click. LCP2, single action trigger pull. Got your blade, comes back, click. It's not bad for a pocket auto, I'm telling you. Um, guessing maybe six, seven, eight pounds trigger pull. Uh, the reset's pretty good, just off the back of the back of the frame. Uh, the biggest thing I like about this is the last round hold open. No fiddling with this really tiny slide stop. Uh, the the looks are, are way better than the original LCP. Looks kind of like an American. It's got some uh, grit to the to the grip surface here, got a, a little bit bigger of a back strap. Fits my hand much better. The original LCP was very, very small. Just, it just was very hard to shoot for me. Um, really, really small grip surface. Uh, they did put some serrations on the on the handle here on the original one, but. Uh, just, it didn't seem like it was enough. They didn't seem like they were, they dug in. The, the magazine release was kind of buried behind a, a cover here that the grip came over top of it. So it was, it was really hard to get get my big thumb on it. LCP2, uh, mag release sticks out a lot more. I like that. Got a pinky extension on the magazine. Uh, like I said, the grip feels way better. The trigger feels way as you're holding it back and cycle, real tactical click on the reset. You can hear that. Bang. Uh, as far as pocket autos go, <clears throat> I'm thinking this is going to be uh, a very popular, very popular compact pocket auto. I, I guess you would call them. These were real popular in the beginning. Uh, but they're hard to shoot, and uh, the, the trigger's kind of kind of terrible. They're hard to hang on to. Another thing about it is they actually raise the sights over top of the back of the slide and the front sight. So if you want to take a little white paint and put on the back of there, I'd like to see dovetailed in sights on this thing. I mean, I think there would be you know some call for some night sights on these little guns, and uh, you know I understand they're. They're smoothed off for carry and whatnot, but it just seems like there would a uh, little better sights would, would make a world of difference on this. And this this got way better sights than the original LCP. The original LCP was just a little bump in it and a U-notch, kind of like a revolver on the top of it. Now this one you can see is you know sticking up above there quite a bit better. Take your original and, uh, and it's pretty hard to get it in the camera there. There's really not a whole lot going on there. So, you can see that the sight's, the sight's way better. Uh, the slide release, slide stop lever, uh, more of a defined, pronounced lever handle here. You can actually get your thumb on it versus the other. These things here, I could just, just barely get my fingernail on the thing. Um, all around, way better gun. Uh, more shootable, better to hang on to. Uh, of course, it's Ruger quality, so probably not going to have any issues with it. Um, LCP-1 was a, was a great little pocket auto. These, I think, are, are a bunch better. So, if you're looking for one, uh, get your hands on one. They're not that much money. Great for pocket carry, lightweight, six rounds. Um, the cool part about it is if you already own the LCP, your magazines will work. Understand though that the 
last round hold open will not work. Only the LCP2 magazines will work on your last round hold open. So, But if you're uh, looking for practice or something like that, your, your magazines and your LCP will work in your LCP2 and vice versa. Although the LCP1 does not have a last round hold open, so you're never going to get that. Anyway, here's my thoughts on a little Ruger.